Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be doing a small coloring book and supply haul from Amazon and Target. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name's Johanna, and I like stationery, but I also have a tendency to get a little obsessed with things, and when I do, I can go down a bit of a rabbit hole. So I did put up a video, I believe last week, where I did some coloring out of this one, and I will continue uh, to do that particular series where I'm coloring um, a different thing which is this right here, but going to do it in the four different seasons. And because I've been enjoying this so much, I thought, well, I'm going to pick up a few more coloring books. And actually, I think these are a few too many, but a few more coloring books. And then I also want to try out some other pencils. So we're actually going to start the whole video with the pencils first, and then we'll go into the actual coloring books. So again, this is the one I had. These are the ones that I've recently picked up. Okay, so this I picked up from Amazon. I've been watching a lot of videos from ColorTube, which is basically a whole bunch of people here on YouTube who do coloring and coloring pages. And I had seen videos where they had said that this was a really close approximation to the Prismacolors. Now, let me show you the two boxes of Prismacolors that I have. So these are the two boxes I have of Prismacolors. I did pick these up from Target and they were both $9.99 a piece. So it was $20 basically for 24 pencils. Now, if I can find them on Amazon, I will link them below just so that you'll have the details. But again, um, I found them at Target.com, so you should be able to find them as well. These are Tiza pens, 72 of them um, were, I believe, $34 on Amazon. And while they are not exactly as good as a Prismacolor, um, from the reviews that I've seen, they're really close. And so it does come in this tin, which just sort of opens that way. And it comes in these plastic trays. So there's one two and three trays. Now I'll probably um, sort these by color. I don't know why they're sorted this way. Although if I hold them like that, you can see, although it does look similar, there are some differences. But when I sort it, I'll probably put all the pinks and the reds and the yellows and the greens and the blues together. I think it'll just be easier to find that way. But these are 72 colors. Now, they came on Saturday. I opened the box, looked at the beautifulness, and then closed the box. I have not used these, so I can't tell you for sure how they um, feel as compared to the Prismacolor but I will be testing that out and probably doing a video and giving you my thoughts. But on the other end of the spectrum, I did pick up these. Now I also picked this up from Target.com. I, I love their pickup feature and this for 50 pencils was $6.99. So you can see that there is quite the range of prices, $7 for 50. $34 for 72, $20 for 24. Now, I can tell you from the Crayolas that I already had, it was a 12 count, the feeling between this brand and this brand is night and day. These are soft, these are highly pigmented, and they're really fun and easy to use. But I did want to get more colors than what I had in my arsenal and see what I can do with just Crayolas. So be on the lookout for a video like that. And then this is a nice mid-range. Uh, they did have, I think, 120 available for like 50 or $60, which given the number of pencils, I think that's a really good deal. But again, based on all the reviews and the videos I've seen, um, there are a lot of colors that those who are in the coloring 
tube uh, channels said they didn't really use and so I thought this was a good mid-range and then I'd have lots of different colors to choose from and again have not used these and I have not used these so I can't tell you for sure what the colors are what the color payoffs are things like that but I definitely will have a video on my channel soonish now this one I did get from Target as you can see there this is the one that I already had um, in in hand and I have to tell you by watching tons of videos in color tube I I know that there are certain things that I like and that I don't like. And so I love Joanna Bassford's work. I have actually for years. And so I definitely lean more towards the detail oriented as well as botanicals. I love me some florals. And so this is just right up my alley. I think of all of these, this is probably my least favorite. Now, I have only seen one of these movies, the one with this guy in it, with the fishes. I can't tell you what the name is. Um, I haven't seen most of these. I've never seen Totoro, I think that's his name. And I don't know that I've seen any of these other ones except for that one with the, the little girl where she's a fish or something like that. And I mentioned the detail oriented because while some of these do have a little bit of detail, it's just, I don't know, it's, it, it has faces and already, and I, I should have known because <laughs> I don't really like faces looking at me when I'm coloring, but they are stylized and more anime, so I thought it'd be okay, but it's just, it's not as detailed as I would have liked it. And again, that, that's all on me. The paper quality um, feels a little bit thicker than a copy paper, and it feels like there's a texture to it. It is only one-sided, so if I did want to use either markers or paints, I could just put something underneath it and it, it should be able to protect it. I don't know how much I'll actually be coloring in this. So I did want to get it if for only to see how I'd like using it. And I know that sounds a bit bizarre, but one of the ladies that I've, I've been watching here on YouTube said, it's good to sort of expand your comfort zone if just to practice on skin tone or to practice on animals or to practice on pieces that you normally wouldn't gravitate towards. Um, and I, I kind of like that idea. Again, I don't know how often I'll be in here, but it is quite different from anything else you'll see. This one here is a nice little book. I don't know what I have that I can compare it to. So this is a classic happy planner and it is not as wide as a classic happy planner, but if you can see, it certainly is taller. So it just gives you a bit of scale if you are from happy planner world. And this is also a very nice book. I think I've seen some people in these. It is very detail oriented, which I like. It also has quite a bit of flowers. I like houses. I like, okay, well, I think it's easier to say what I don't like. I'm not a fan of faces. Like this is fine because it's art, but um, I think they're, they're like the chibi girls. I'm, I'm not a fan of those or the ones that look like Barbies. I like things to look like landscapes or pictures you could put on a wall. So this to me, I think I'll have a lot of fun with. I'm not a huge fan of animals. I'm not a huge fan of water. <laughs> so there are just certain pictures in here that I gravitate towards. Like I think this would be fun to color, but that one with the octopus, not so much. And so I, I think this will be an interesting one to do. It is one-sided and the paper, it, it feels thin, but it also feels a bit textured. So again, once I start playing in here, I'll be able to give a better idea of how I liked it. But that's this one, nice little town. This one here definitely has a Joanna Bassford feel to me. It's very detail oriented, as you can see. 
It does only print on one side, which is good so that you don't sacrifice the other side. And I just love how this looks. Again, paper feels thin. So if I do want to use something of a wet medium, either paint or like gel pens or markers, then I definitely want to put something behind it. But I, I like the, the style of this. Now this owl, not a fan of. These mice, I think they're cute. And so there are just certain things I would gravitate towards. And an empty color book is an empty coloring book. I, I, I know for some, if you are going down the color tube rabbit hole, um, they like to complete their books and it makes sense. I, I don't have that same feeling. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the colors and the pages that I like and if I don't like it, then I'm just gonna leave it. I have, I have no desire to finish a color, coloring book. I think that's a really cute image. I did buy a Christmas book because I thought I should have one. And I thought it was really interesting because even though it is double-sided, it is a perforated book. And the back side is in a grayscale that repeats. And so if you wanted to color this and hang it up or, or whatnot, um, you would not be losing anything because this pattern repeats. And I actually really enjoy that. And I think there's some really pretty pictures in here. Now I have no intentions of taking it out of the book, but I, I do like the idea that if you wanted to, you absolutely could. And again, not a fan of the rabbit, but I like the cuckoo clock. Now, if you're interested in a, a flip through, definitely let me know. I don't know that any of these books are not on YouTube. Again, the rabbit hole of YouTube by way of color tube is immense. And so I'm pretty sure these have all been hauled and reviewed and colored in. So yeah, this is a The Time Garden by Darius Song. And this one is interesting. I don't know if I like it, but I don't know if I don't. So there are definitely aspects, for instance, like this. Very detailed, which I like. Um, I like the style of it. I can imagine the colors here, but then there's also a lot of blank space. And so if you were in the color tube genre and you looked at this as an art piece, you could do a lot here. To me, I just see a lot of blank space. That's a lot of coloring in to do. And there are pages like that where it just, it just seems a little bit odd to me. Now, if you've ever seen Chris Chung here on YouTube, she does coloring pages. She absolutely could fill in the blank spaces and make you think it was a part of the original drawing. She is just phenomenal. I just see the blank space. I don't see whatever the background could be. And so like something like this, I would not do. One, it doesn't really, interest me but two there's just i mean what do you what do you do with all that and so like i just said there are some pages like this i think will be fun to just play around with what's on the page but i well i think i have a very good imagination i don't have a good enough imagination where i can make this one look lifelike but two have the desire to learn that because I don't. <laughs> but the paper is, it's quite thick. It's a bit smooth. The other ones were thinner, but they felt textured. So I think this is more on par to like a Joanna Basford paper. And I, I mentioned that because I guess in the coloring page world, she's not so much the standard, but more people have her work than any other work. So if you need to reference something, referencing Joanna Basford is, is not a bad way to go. And so that's The Time Garden, a Daria Song Magical Journey and Coloring Book.
I do love the artwork here. And actually, I think that's a really good idea, just coloring a few things and leaving the rest black and white. That's quite intriguing. And then this here is my favorite, but this was also the most expensive. I think this coloring book was $25. Yeah, but it is absolutely beautiful. So this is a Korean coloring book. And what I love is that it looks like a cartoon. And so it gives you the artist's rendition and then it gives you the blank space and you could absolutely go for what she has done or you can take this in your own direction. And this entire book is filled like that. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm actually, I, I don't even know if I wanna color in this and not so much that I'm going to ruin it, um, but it's just more, I love the picture here, then I love all of the black and whiteness on, on this page. I just, to me, it is probably one of the most stunning books I've ever seen. And there's more in the series, but uh, I think I'm going to leave it at this. Now, I did want to mention that I, I know that um, on ColorTube and for channels that are specifically driven about coloring pages and technique and whatnot, um, they haul coloring books all of the time, all kinds of different genres. To be honest, I think I have about two or three too many um, because I have so many varying interests. It's not like I'm going to be coloring every night or every afternoon. And I think I have a wide enough range of what I like that I have lots of different options. If I do need to unhaul anything, that Ghibli one is probably going to go first <laughs> because, yeah, I definitely lean to something, lean more towards something like this than something like that. And I'm, I'm flipping through this one just because I think this one it is utterly stunning. I love this book. I mean, look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? And I've always liked the black and white nature of coloring pages. And so to me, that is artistic enough that I wouldn't even dream of thinking of getting <laughs> even close to, but I just, I, I love it. I, I absolutely love this book. I flipped through this one quite a few times. This one came uh, this past Saturday. Uh, the other ones came today. And I just think it is absolutely adorable. You might actually see some of these in my journals <laughs> because I just love the line work on this. Anyway, before I get carried away down the rabbit hole, I do plan on coloring in some of these. I won't do them on camera because I pick up coloring books for the relaxation aspect of it. I don't pick them up to treat it as an art piece. Um, and I know there are two schools of thought about that and I will talk about that more in my next coloring video. But I did want to share this with you uh, just because if you're like me, I knew about Joanna Basford. Color tube is a is a new animal for me. I had no idea that it even existed. And then coming across some of their work, because I saw this particular coloring book in someone's video, I'm like, oh, if I can find that on Amazon, I am going to get it. I mean, isn't that stunning? But once I have my thoughts on how they color how I can put things down to the page, how the various pencils work. Um, I'm going to try some markers in conjunction with some pencils. I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts. Again, I am pursuing this um, from a relaxation standpoint, and so you're not going to see the shading and all of the techniques and things like that on my channel. That's, that's not what I'm here for. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you'd like a flip through of any of the coloring books that I've shown you, definitely let me know. Be on the lookout for spring in the Joanna Basford world of flowers. And as always, guys, aloha.